Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. So the, here we go with the pass game. All right, so one of the things that we, we like to do is one-on-one. Is -on -one. Uh, you can see with the box there, uh, if they want to go one-on-one -on -one and, and we go 10 on, you know, we go 10 on 10, we can still do a, pretty much your entire passing league game. Uh, I mean, our, our single wing game, but we can still run the pass on the left. Really good too. If you got like a receiver, who's very uh, good. Uh, when I ran this uh, up in Oregon, I had a receiver that was really good, but the kid number like Kelbeck couldn't throw, uh, basically could just barely throw it. He threw ducks, but that the receiver was able to out jump their guy or beat their guy. And uh, we, you know, we basically had a passing game when we probably shouldn't have had a passing game because we had a, a great athlete that we were able to move out there. Uh, also from the single wing standpoint, I also run most of my stuff from a balance. So let me talk about the reason why I go balance versus unbalanced, but we do do unbalanced too. Out of balance, I liked the idea that if I ran a balance front, I would get a normal defense, not a bastardized thing, them trying to overplay to the unbalanced. Uh, what I want to do, though, is I want to get them lulled into this is we're balanced and the things we can do and then spring unbalanced stuff on them to gain an advantage. Maybe they don't see that we, we go to that uh, unbalance. Another one, uh, it really helps in the passing game to have a balanced front uh, because you're able to do some things uh, pass blocking wise that you probably couldn't do. Uh, in a normal unbalanced front. So that's why I, I go with more of a balanced front than I do the unbalanced. But you'll see on here that we actually do do unbalanced stuff also. All right, obviously, if they go two on one, we've got an advantage on the run. So that's just, you could, the quarterback uh, can look over there and you, you know, you could have a pass play called and a run play called. And he just walks up and if he sees two people that could possibly cover him, he knows the run's automatic and he's going to bat. If he has one on one. We can go right to the to the path. All right. So there's two on one with the with the outside backer. Two on one if the safety moves over, giving us the numbers advantage. All right. So the base passes that we run is we run single we uh, the wide receiver routes, and I'll we'll talk about those. Smash, which which we call our tight end, uh, running the corner in the flat, uh, mesh, and then our roll pass. Those are the base passes that we run, and we always run these. Uh, if we have a more of a passer and we're doing more far wide stuff where we're shifting in between, then we'll run more of the concepts, which I'll go over later. All right. So the first thing with the single receiver routes, anything outside and you pretty much, you know, you can, these are just some of the things uh, you could run the quick screen, just turn and throw it to him right now, or the now screen. Uh, I like to stop in the fade. Uh, everything's a fade until it's not. So, you know, we want to run, uh, at the corner like we're running a fade and then we could stop on the stop also the same with the slant and then obviously the post if the if the free safety is going to take himself out of the middle of the field you can give uh, a nice home run play to uh, your wide receiver getting him one-on-one -on -one and let him beat that guy so here's our the base pass concepts we start off with our first one is smash so on the smash read uh what we're doing this is actually can be like a play action play too this was one of our best play action you can you know, the quarterback can just catch it and throw. He could take a step like he's faking pass. Later on, you'll see we'll actually use this as an RPO too. Uh, but what he's reading is what we tell him is that he is going to throw that flat route to number four. He is going to throw that every time on time. So he's basically going to catch the ball and throw it, catch the ball and throw it. If he turns to throw and he sees the cornerback and jump that route, and takes it away, he's going to stop, take another step, and throw the ball deep to the corner route. Because what we've got here is we've got a two-on-one high-low read. Now, the tight end is going to learn that he's got to beat that safety on that route. And if there's an outside backer, the, out, the guy running outside to the sideline knows that he's got to outrun those things. We have some other uh, plays off of this that we, we do to, to, uh, to take care of problems. But the base read is we're going to turn and throw that flat route. Now, if you're running power a lot, 
out of this formation, that corner has got to come up and he's got to be part of the play. And so what's going to happen on that is that he is going to get used to basically making tackles and on sweeper power. And then when that back slips out, what it looks like, oh, he's trying to block me, but he's going to keep running on a pass play. Uh, so that's the read right there. It's a nice, easy pitch and catch. Turn and throw it every time unless the corner makes you jump it. And then you uh, throw it deep to the, uh, the corner guy. So here's the quick route. He just turns and throws. If you could run that back so they can see that again. Yep. <laughs> he just turns and throws as quick as he can, gets in the ball. And so what was gonna, you're going to see on the next one, uh, we actually, you know, we're running this a bunch. And so the corner and everybody started jumping him, and they forgot about the tight end. And we literally would get this wide open. Because we hit that smash route so many times that uh, they forgot about him. Because we, you know, they, they saw probably three games worth of, of, get, of catches, and they did not uh, see us ever throw that corner route. And they were so used to thinking that's what we were throwing, and they didn't catch him. So this guy ended up catching like three or four touchdowns this, that year uh, just because the other guy was catching so many passes on that. All right. Roll pass. So basically, this was our off our sweep, uh, and the roll pass was one of our, our bigger plays that we ran out of the, the four wide two. Uh, so basically, we're going to roll, uh, run quarterback sweep. Uh, the two guys are back in front, and the outside guy is going to run a 10 yard out, and the inside guy is going to run that corner. And we're just high loading that, that corner route. If he decides to come up, you've got the dump to one. Uh, if he stays back, uh, you know, you got one. Or if he comes up on the dump, I mean, not on the dump, on the, on the flat route, then you can go over the top to the deep of him. And then obviously the bomb is a called play. We'll call roll bomb. And then he, that's a backside uh, pass if, if we got a free safety that, that's coming out of the way. Uh, just a nice, easy play that's, that's basically off of one of your best run plays. Like you saw the, the smash and the, and the mesh are off of your power. This is off of uh, your sweep. All right, so now these are all basic concepts that we could add to the single wing. And I'm gonna, I'll go through those. And then I'll show you some video later. Uh, some out of single wing, some out of, out of four wide. But these are just concepts that you can add uh, to your game if you want. Uh, that you can run out of the different things. So these are the different concepts we run. We run a smash concept, which is going to be a cornerback high low read. So we're going to two on one, the cornerback on a high low. Uh, there's going to be four or five different plays out of this, but it's the same read for the quarterback. It's just the receivers are getting there from different places. Uh, verticals, which is going to be a horizontal uh, quarterback read. A lot of people think, oh, you're running verts. It's not a vertical read. It's actually a horizontal read left to right because we're stretching the field and then we're beating them over the top. Uh, we're also going to do a horizontal on the corner and those are going to be like curls and uh, uh, post reads. Uh, floods are a three on two and that's a levels read. And then we'll do triangles, which is a three on two read. Uh, then we're going to run a levels which we're high lowing the, the outside backer. And then we do a lot of stuff where we're doing movement, like the rolls and uh, bootlegs and play action. Uh, then I'm going to show you some good one-on-one -on -one man beaters uh, just to get one of your better athletes one-on-one -on -one and give him the ball. Uh, and then the great, uh, we're an offensive, offensive guy, so we could say pick because we're going to pick the crap out of them. Uh, so a lot of picks and rubs against teams that really want to go tight man-to-man. -man. Uh, one of the big things, uh, we would have when people would come up against us, they would like try to be better athletes than us. And they would come up and go uh, man to man and try to beat our receivers up. And our kids knew the minute they went into that, we were going to pick the crap out of them and we're going to make them run into each other. And so we would do a lot of picks and beaters. And then the big one, I like screens. I think screens are one of the concepts that uh, can really uh, add uh, to your game because uh, you can get, you know, people in, in space and let them go. And then I don't have it on here, but at the end there, there's a couple RPOs 
and things that we're doing with uh, the run pass option that people are doing now. So he, all these are passes it, during the single wing. So here's MASH. We, we called it Kentucky back in the day because that's where we learned it from How Mummy. And then this is the single receiver stuff. We had a real good receiver, so we got them one on one. And you just here's out of unbalance. And then running quick outs bench. This is the, 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 the five yard quick out. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.